In this video, we're going to go through the ring out challenge as part of the Crucible at Muspelheim in God of War Ragnarok. Subscribe to Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush God of War Ragnarok. So one of the best places to get loot and XP is Muspelheim. And you can enter Muspelheim as soon as you get uh, through Forging Destiny. So you should have both Muspelheim embers uh, after that. So you can use your drop near spear to get uh, one in the Bay of Bounty. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do that here. We're going to go through this crucible challenge in the middle location in Muspelheim. Uh, it's called the Ring Out Challenge. This is special because you want to use a special skill. I would advocate that you want to uh, use a skill called the Serpent Snare where you hold on to R2 to throw the enemies into the pits of fire or the lava. So the only way to kill the enemies is to throw them into the lava or push them into the lava or kick them into the lava. And I find this is easiest. I was trying to kick. I was having a lot of trouble kicking because uh, there is a lot of moves that recall your axe. This one, you just keep your axe and you just hold on to R2 and you can aim them where you want. Now, it's not it, you have to be really close to them. I recommend putting the defensive token on it if you're at the gold level for this. We, we advocate that you get to the gold level of all your skills so you can farm XP in Niflheim. We've got a video about that. So here we go. The first part of it, so this is not a time challenge, so that's the, the nice part about this challenge. Uh, you just need to stay alive. So staying alive is a, important, uh, and it's really hard when you're trying to push these guys into the lava. So see, I had a good uh, serpent snare there. I'm, you know, when I'm running up, I, that also stuns them and that that can put them into the lava if they're if you're angled right, running there, uh, hitting R2. Uh, I forget what that skill is called, but that that's also an axe skill. And you know, we're using. Uh, you want to keep on hitting the square button to just stun the enemy so they're not a, they're not overwhelming Kratos. There we go. We got one in the lava there. We're trying to get back in position. We're letting our companion uh, hit them with arrows. And we got another one of those guys. Unfortunately, these challenges, they seem to, regardless of how much... Um, how much rage bar you start out with, it, they'll, they put you at zero rage. So if you're using Valor or you're using uh, your rage to heal yourself, uh, that's not an option unless you get a lot of hits in. So you have to build it up throughout the fight. So I accidentally there had the wrong one, but uh, you can use your relic, you can use your other skills to just stun them for a while. See. Even though he's got, he's covered in Bifrost, uh, it doesn't matter. Now I'm trying to launch him, but I didn't launch him in the right spot. These two seem like they're in a better spot to be launched. There you go. I got, I aimed correctly there and got him in the lava. We're just getting, you were just stunning him uh, with these other things. I find that the blue blocks are really hard to do. I've not perfected that, unfortunately. There you go. Uh, so Freya actually knocked him into the lava herself. Here we go. You can also use the shield if you don't have the, the axe with you. Uh, that's very effective, kicking or punching with the shield. But, uh, you know, if you've got axe in hand, it's not going to work as well. And you want to hold R2 and use the serpent snare right so the the running slam there worked and you just have to balance uh you know uh making sure you're not taking too much damage i think i might need like for this one i might you want to have a stone for this one for sure uh a resurrection stone preferably a superior uh because you get so much more health with a superior there you go, uh, and he's into the lava. So the the sigil arrows are also helping push them into the lava. I'm kind of disappointed at how 
poorly uh, Freya aim. She does not like auto aim when you're not looking at the the uh, foes. So we're trying to find the other foe. Thankfully, this was not timed. So that foe is way up there. So probably best with a spear, but you could use the you could use the axe. So we're just trying not to take damage here. There we go. We were able to get just enough to get. Now, see, that's not going to do anything, but it does push her back, and she, that, oh, man, we're almost dead there. Okay, so we got that one in. These, uh, Bifrost Einarhars are very difficult to not die on. All right, so you can see how, uh, it's just so important The and, you know, the runics are just not going to do much. Maybe I should have done a runic here just to... That was very fortunate that we were able to get those two in to the lava there and back them off into it. But that was more Freya than Kratos. And there you go. We do need the uh, Resurrection Stone. So it, I, it, it was a mistake to use the cooldown build. So this is the... Uh, forget the name of the armor set but this is a cooldown armor set you probably want a tanky armor set for this maximum defense so something like loon does uh if you have the other pieces of the the muspelheim set that also is good because that's leveled up to six to start out with this is a level five kratos but his weapons are level four but his armor is level six but this is a cooldown so we could spam the runics but spamming the runics doesn't do us a lot of good here okay there we go and you know uh, the vines and all that stuff you you just need to keep on putting uh, XP into uh, Freya and that's one of the XP's that you can choose and she can upgrade her vine ability see I could have got around there uh, there we go. Oh, that was just good enough, I think, because it just slid right down into there. And there you go. The ring out challenge is completed. So uh, the rewards, uh, I'm going to show you that this is the my first time doing the ring out challenge. And then the, the I think, uh, and the rewards, uh, you do get like a piece of the armor set. This was the first one I did for the middle part. So I think maybe the and we got divine ashes 100 xp and a thousand hack silver um so you know because this one is a took a little long compared to the other ones but even these lower chests are a pretty good chest farm um because you get a thousand uh hack silver and then you get the divine ashes to upgrade i think it's your blades pommel uh with the the blades attachment that you get for the crucible but yeah, you want to, I, I say defense for this one. You want to have the protection uh, amulet on the, if you have the gold already. And he ha if you haven't got the gold uh, for the serpent snare, uh, go to Niflheim where you can't get killed and, and level up the serpent stare, snare and then use a thousand XP to put defense on because it, and put on a tanky armor set. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush God of War Ragnarok.